thanks Bitbird for inviting me. Uh, the title of this workshop masterclass slash game is uh, interactive live streams. Uh, we're gonna play some interactive games. We're gonna do some, yes, <laughs> yes, Clemon, it's a Python script. So first of all, actually, I want to have some, some comments from you. I want to test this thing that I'm doing right now. I want you to know how you're doing today, how you're feeling. Just feed me, feed me your text, feed me your comments. Hello, level. Okay. I need I need more interaction. Ah, you had ramen today, RGB dog, <laughs> and it was quite heavy. Okay, okay. Bitbird had a great day. Yosti was doing really well. Chisco's been drawing a lot. I need I need more words. Can you feed me with more words? I need I need a lot of words. I need I need some spam in the comments. Weather's getting warm out, so I'm feeling good. Nice, doing good. Got some people over, and we're having a good time. Amazing. So I will in also introduce myself. You keep on writing. So this is gonna be. Um, a sort of an experiment. Oh, nice. <laughs> nice, Clemon. Thanks for that. Um, <laughs> let me introduce myself. My name is Leo Scarry, Leonardo. I go for Leo, uh, Scar Scarry on the social media. Um, as you can tell by my accent, I am Italian, but I'm based in The Hague, Netherlands, where I uh, studied and I am now currently based. Um, I am a new media artist and designer. I work uh, mainly with interactive media. And yes, please keep keep on writing. You keep on writing. I like this. Um, so what I'm actually doing now is creating the base for an interactive game. I'm going to play with you. Um, and I'm going to show you a bit also of the technology behind it, but I'm not going to dive too deep into it um, unless anyone wants to know specifically. As you see, there is a Python script, which is uh, collecting the comments from the live stream. Um, and I'm receiving them in Touch Designer over here. So this is my Touch Designer patch. Yes. So the more you write, the more data I'm collecting. And we are going to play, um, let's say, three different games. So keep in mind that this is all very experimental. This is all, um, um, yeah, kind of a setup that is experimental. So if anything falls apart or the stream just crashes, um, that's OK. <laughs> I'm going to come back. Um, it's going to be playful. It's going to be fun. Um, and I will need a lot of your input. I will need a lot of your prompt for this. So we're going to do together an interactive live stream. Um, the first game I want to play with you is to, is, um, we're going to make some interactive poetry together. All right. And let me see. Let me move this far here and open this over here. Okay. All right. Let me fix this. Mm -hmm. Comp one. Mm -hmm. There we go. Hmm. One sec. Give me one second. Sync mode. Desync mode. Why is it very low quality? <laughs> oh, okay. I see why. Mm 
let me fix the resolution okay 20. all right and here we go all right can you see the words on the screen So these are all your comments on my screen. Um, and what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna play some music. I'm gonna give you some prompts, like these words here. Um, that on, you can see on the bottom. And I want you to um, basically just respond to these words, I want you to respond to the music, I want you to give me back some of your words, I want this to be sort of a negotiation between your words and my word, and there's going to be this funny visualizer in the background, let's see if I can, well, you will see it when the volume of the music is up, it's an audio reactive visualizer, and um, yes, my mic is stereo, so you can, uh, you can feel the <laughs> spatial sound, ooh. Um, all right, so let me get back to these words here. Let me make them audio reactive. And um, I'm going to give you the first word, which is going to be digital love. And I want you to just write some poetry. Let's do this, this sort of a digital stream of consciousness together, right? I'm going to put some music here. Okay, 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 okay. It seems like it's working. It seems like it's working. Now we start for real. Um, I'm actually gonna choose a specific song for this. I really love this Telephone Line 415 by Underscore. I want to play along with you on this song. The prompt is cyber consciousness now. Cyber consciousness. I'll be your drop dead, manic pixie dream thing. I'll be here to die for. Tell me what you're feeling. Try to make my eyes sore, having trouble seeing. I'll be your drop dead, pretty little sweet thing. Let me get it all right. Oh, I want to be with. Reach out for the drop dead, scrawny little. Sometimes, I'll keep on my mind sometimes. Say that everyone 
Now it's Meta Dream. I want you to write on Meta Dream, and actually, yes, this is a perfect song. Forever Free by Sun Hollow and Duskas. Oops. Meta Dream. Next one is computational blue. Keep on writing, keep on writing. I need a hundred comments on computational blue. Last one is Virtual Vertigo. Virtual Vertigo, come on, write your verses. I need a hundred verses on Virtual Vertigo. Keep on writing your verses, we're almost done. OK, 
Okay. Wow, look at that. How beautiful. <laughs> All right, how is everybody doing? <laughs> Can you still hear me? A lot of words. Yes, it is. So this is our digital poetry we just made together. <laughs> that was fun, says Yosti. RGB dog, we worked hard. We did indeed work hard. Yes. <laughs> I thought it was pretty poetic. Look. <laughs> okay. <laughs> The stream is like a battle pass in a video game. Exactly what I was envisioning. We're working for very cool rewards. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look at that. Collective poetry. Okay. All right, let's pass to the next game. All right, let me reopen my test designer. Let me close this and this one. <laughs> show us how you did it. All right, I'll show you how I did it, RGB dog. Um, it all starts here. Um, I'm not sure how many people know Python here. I don't, <laughs> but uh, I've managed to make this little code um, that it basically um, creates a browser simulator. And I can actually show you my browser simulator. This is my browser simulator. You see Chrome is being controlled by automated test software. Um, and by doing that, what I do actually then is, um, if I go here and inspect, you can see that um, every comment is under a certain um, HTML class, right? Um, let me put this back. And so I found out that actually those classes are called text fragment. This is for Twitch, right? So if you go on the HTML um, of Twitch uh, during a live stream and, and you select the text fragment classes, you will get the comments one by one. Uh, so this is exactly what I'm doing. I'm just sending those comments through uh, Open Sound Control, OSC, which is a protocol to send data uh, between a network. And and actually, this is what I get, right? So every two seconds, this refreshes and it gives me all of the comments, all of the latest 100 comments from um, uh, the stream. And then I'm sending those to my touch designer here through this um, DAT. This, um, this is a UDP in, which works for OSC. And yeah, basically, I'm just receiving all of the messages one by one. And then it's just a matter of filtering them um, and just reformatting them. And actually, I can even remove, uh, keep only the first word here. Um, and this, we're going to need it actually for the next game. So let's do this. The uh, next game. For the next game, I want you. Why this easier than getting comments by the Twitch API? Because I don't know the Twitch API, <laughs> and also this, um, I developed this code for um, a live stream we're doing on Mixcloud, <laughs> and um, and so the power, the power of this is that you can really just apply to any, any live stream platform or anything at all. You want to data scrape text, you can use this tool. Um, so what we're going to do now, I have a set of 3D objects here. Uh, for those who are interested in, um, in 3D scans, actually, I got these from uh, the Oliver Larich library. It's called 3dscans.com, which cannot be easier than that. And it's an open source database of sculptures from different museums. Okay. Um, 
fully reusable, smart. Yes, it is fully reusable. We can add it locally, but it won't change it for other people. What do you mean by that? Uh, I was about to guess. Okay. <laughs> you can edit my comment real. Yes, I. Uh, no, I cannot edit your comment in real time. Um, I can only do it on on my computer, of course, locally. But um, okay. So I have this series of objects, um, <laughs> point clouds, actually, and I'm gonna ask you to texturize them. So here. I'm going to ask you to write um, the smallest character possible. You can, it can be a dot, it can be a comma, it can be a whatever small character. And I want you to write a lot of it. Like you need to spam a hundred dots or a hundred commas. And the luckiest one will end up being the texture of this um, sculpture. So actually, let me... Let me switch to this. Okay. So at the moment, I'm not receiving anything yet. I see a O here. Let me see. Yes. audio reactive now Okay, something is wrong with this right now. I'm not receiving any more comments. Okay, I'm gonna restart this. I'm gonna restart the uh, Python patch so you can actually see how, how it works. Um, all right. Right, Python interactive live stream hi. Okay. And now it opens my web driver here. And it starts reading the chat. So I'm gonna need you to write again just a lot of words in the chat. Yes. Ah, <laughs> Okay, okay, I'm getting something. Yes. Okay. 
Ooh, there we go. Okay, okay. Let me turn the volume up, make this audio reactive, play a bit. GF4, the word is let's go. Okay, the word is drop. The word is X. Ooh. The word is flap. We have a spinger made of flaps here. I see a bang. All right, all right. Let's move to the next sculpture. Ooh, what character is that? <laughs> RGB dog. <laughs> the word is dog. Okay, now everybody writes a dot. Everybody writes a dot. Just a dot. <laughs> oh, you can't do one dot. Okay, let's have two dots. That's okay. Oh, the comma. I like that. Next one. Um, yes. P, I see a lot of P around.
Ooh, I like this character. <laughs> this is beautiful. Alright, alright. Wow, that was such a cool song. <laughs> okay. Are we back? We are back. Let's close this one. Let me get back my touch designer. Yes. Let me stop this. Okay. How's everybody doing? Give me some uh, some comments in the chat. Okay, hype. PP says hype. Climax. Bitboard is doing well. RGB Dog is doing good. Great to know. <laughs> that was great, sinner. <laughs> <laughs> Nice, I'm loving this stream. Yeah. So if anyone is interested, I can show a little bit of how these 3D sculptures are made. Um, well, for the, um, for the text, actually, it's the same exact process. I just collect all of the um, words that, I'm, that, that are appearing in the stream. Um, I actually cut the, um, as you see, I can cut only the um, the first word because of course if you texturize with lots of words it becomes very messy so let's dive into this um, so for those who do touch designer there is a point file top in here um, and I have I think 12 of them 13 of them it's a lot yeah uh, and basically how does it work when you render a point cloud um, in um, in touch designer you want to have a position map and a color map right a point cloud is nothing else than a 3d image and you have rgb data as well as depth data um so we we got the, the the position data through this and there is a switch to switch between objects and um and we gather the color data through this so for every point file there is a point file select that gathers the color data and um, stores them in another in another top here um, and here actually the position data goes through um, some effects such as noise or feedback uh, even turbulence and that's what actually makes it go um, crazy when the when the audio reactive right um, these two is all we need uh, and then you have a standard geometry in which you place the instance here um, the um, i'm using a simple box just a square um, and then you just position the the, the dots uh, in the um, through the position um, data here and the color and you color it um, and you instance the color as well so over or somewhere here yeah and um, the normals actually not the colors and then the text I'm receiving I drag it to the material 
which is then going to be the texture of every instance. So enough of this <laughs> technical talks. Uh, but if anyone has any question, how do you cut the input text? Um, how do I cut the input text? So there is actually a function for that. Um, mm -mm. I need to find it. <laughs> Ta -da. Switch. Mm. Where is the function I had? Yes, so it's this one. Um, blank lines. Yes. So in here, in this convert, um, I, as you see, I can I basically separate um, every time there is a space character. Um, so then from that, I select, I, I divide the, the, the sentence. Basically, if you say, what is this? I don't understand. Um, I only get the first column, which is what, and then what would be the word? Simple as that. Let's move to the next game, I will say. How's the chat doing? Messy like our office. <laughs> is the instance like a mesh or something? Yes, the instance is a mesh. Um, and you basically instance a mesh, which in this case is a just a small square, um, as many times as needed and in the position that is uh, preset from the point cloud file. Any other questions? Okay. Type a centimeter space, we can't use unique word. Yes, exactly, Yosti. You just hacked the system. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> this is your unique word. Let me stop this. Okay, for the third game, um, I'm gonna activate my camera. So I'm gonna have to move it here, deactivate, and I'm gonna reactivate it here. Hopefully it will work. <laughs> Thanks, Yosti, you broke it again. How do you place text into the instances? Um, through the material. So let me go back to it a second. Um, this material here, well, actually I'm using a fong, but you can use any kind of material. And in the color map of the material, you just place the text. And that will make, uh, that will paint the text on every instance, which in this case is a is a square, is a box. So as you can see, yeah, now you have all these little boxes painted over with the text that you're writing. <laughs> okay, cool. Fragments playing in the background. Yes, that, this is such a cool song, by the way. Who is this? Fragments by Ayoban. Very cool selection. Okay. Um, let's move on and we go to the last game of the of the session so let's dive into this it's very simple actually as you can see um, I'm not sure if this is gonna work actually I never tested it um, and again this is a very experimental setting um, so what I'm gonna need you to do is um, and actually here I'm gonna reduce the number to let's say Yes, 11, that's fine. So I'm only going to receive 11 numbers. And I want you to write either ones or zero. Just either one or zero, nothing else. And I need, I need a lot of those. I need 100 of ones and zeros.
Okay, okay. We're getting some here. All right. We are getting some ones and zeros. Nice. Go on, go on. <laughs> Not a two. Come on. <laughs> Don't hack my system. <laughs> I mean, feel free to hack it. Uh, <laughs> yes, yes, level. That's a very long number here. That's definitely going to hack the system. Um, okay, one and zero. We have a lot of ones and zeros. Okay. Now let's start this game. So I'm going to go in here. Actually, let me do this. I'm going to switch this. Yes. So first, let's try this um, little game. Um, as you can see, there's a one means right and zero means left. Um, and actually, let me let me just fix this real quick because I noticed that it's jumping. Um, let's do like this. Let me add a delay here. Yes, more like that. Okay. And I will need to reset this actually. I need ones and zeros, only one or zero. Otherwise, this is not going to work. <laughs> there are too many numbers here. One, zero, one, zero. Yes, one, zero, one, zero, one, zero. Yes, yes, we almost cleared it. Okay, great. We cleared it. So let me do this again. No. Hmm. No, I will need to fix this. Okay, we got this. I will move this here. Okay, great. So we have a minus 18. The number will need to be between uh, minus 1 and 1. So here we go. Um, so I want you to, everybody writes um, one. Everybody just writes one. And let's see if this works out. Okay. Yes, it's working. Now everybody writes zero. Everybody writes zero now. I need more zero, zero, zero. No numbers, I need, I need zero. Uh. Okay, now it's all zero. Let me see, yeah, there we go. <laughs> you found my face. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. <laughs> okay. So this is how this works. Basically, zero is left and one is right. Um, you can control the um, position of the circle um, with comments from the chat. So actually, let me switch to a funniest one. This is funnier. So you're going to have to follow my face using ones and zeros.
There we go. So if everybody writes one, Ah, <laughs> you hit me. <laughs> okay, now everybody writes zero. Zero, zero. I need more zero. Ah, there you go. <laughs> okay, you hit me. One. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, that was something. <laughs> I didn't expect it to work, but... Uh, um, well, it was kind of um, a way for you to get into my creative process, in a sense, right? Um, I'm going to explain quickly also how I did this for those who want to know. Um, so you have a video device in, and then actually here, what I have is, again, the collection of comments, uh, which are converted into values, and um, if everybody just writes either one or zero, theoretically I should get um, a series of ones and zeros that um, added to each other uh, make a sum between, um, if, I, if I just set the average of those, I can have a sum between uh, zero and one. And then it's just a matter, a matter of remapping this zero to one into um, this position of the the circle inside the square and um, and then through some feedback loop um, the feedback basically has the function through to um, so let's say if I move this you can see a little bit of feedback that's what gives the um, the the motion blur right so I'm doing the motion blur over there I level it and then I blur it a bit and then I either composite it um, within the camera or I displace um, I displace the camera input with the sphere and if you're moving it and if you're good enough you can hit my face um, okay I think that was it let me see the chat imagine creating a song with a pitch based on the length of the message ah that's a good idea hmm yeah I wonder if I'm able to do that. You could get the chat to create music. Yes. Yes, exactly. Now imagine turning the chat in emotes only and create some sounds using the colors of the emoji. <laughs> I like where this is going. How often does it refresh the input text? Every two seconds. Um, but I can also set that. So this is here. I set it to two seconds because that's just an okay number. And every one second it becomes a bit messy. And every three seconds is just too slow. I find this to be the perfect number. This could be so cool. Yeah, this is actually a good idea. I'm gonna write it down. And yeah, let me know if you have any more ideas of how what what you what you can do with this. Um, how do you even call this text-based um, interactive? Uh, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Let me reactivate my camera actually. Okay, activate. Nice. <laughs> Imagine using a uh, Twitch channel points. to do something like this. Hmm.
could make a game where chat needs to control the character. Exactly, that's a cool idea. They need to jump. Sick paper transition, by the way. <laughs> yes, that was a cool paper transition. Oh, you made it, Clement. Text-based collaborative music production. Mm, yes. Yeah, I mean, lots of ideas can come up now. And I think really the beauty of it is that by just using a little prompt, by designing some you know, different entry points for, for this kind of collaborative game. Um, Flappy Bird. <laughs> Flappy Bit Bird. <laughs> um, I think it's just very beautiful to, 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 to be able to create something together digitally, right? So I'm here, I'm alone in my office and everybody's I don't know, alone somewhere there, but together we have this tool to uh, be together and create together. Um, yeah. <laughs> Let me go back to this actually. So something like this, for example, can become collective poetry. Look at how many ones and zeros here. <laughs> you use length of message for the length of the note and you use for low notes, for medium notes. Oh, right, and, and equal for high notes. Google Chrome dinosaur when there's no internet, exactly. Yeah. Wow. A lot of ideas here. Just may instantly want to work on this for Create Together Volume 4. Yes! Do that. If you need any assistance, if you need any anything, let me know. <laughs> And I think like, yeah, so I, I started researching, I started developing this, this sort of technologies of interactions for live streams, of course, during the past two years as a way to kind of break this boundary of passivity that the, uh, the audience always has watching a live stream. I found myself really, really frustrated on how passive sometimes it can be to watch a live stream. And and one of the most interactive tools I've seen uh, for basic live streams is really the comment sections. And when the comment sections are active, when the comment sections are, you know, there spamming, that it, it kind of creates this sensation of uh, like, like a busy venue, right? It, it's, it's some feedback that you get. Um, so I wanted to visualize this. Yeah. And I think it has a lot of potential for uh, for many other ideas. As you said, also making music. Yeah, making music would be really cool. Hmm. Cool. All right. I think I'm going to wrap this up. <laughs> One more time. How is everybody doing? How did you like it? What is your takeover of this? Let me know in the comments. I'm going to put some music here. My inner programmer is so happy. <laughs> it was fun, very good, very inspiring. Bit paste. Cool, cool. I love that people are getting ideas out of this. <laughs> That's the, the nicest thing someone could say. <laughs> All right. Okay, I'm going to wrap this up. Um, well, thanks for um, being with me. Next step is to link an AI at the end of the chain. <laughs> yes, AI everything. Test designer, create some AI visual with the text inputs from the chat. Oh, that's a really cool idea, actually. 
Does anybody do AI here other than RGB dog? Of course, we know that RGB dog. <laughs> Crybird programs. Hmm. Interesting. Crybird. <laughs> okay. Thanks for um, thanks for watching. Thanks for being with me and trying this 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 experiment together. I think we. It turned out to be very beautiful, very better than I expected. Uh, thanks for your interaction, most of all. Thank you, Bitper, for inviting me. <laughs> Thank you so much for the love, everybody. <laughs> and um, yeah, um, have a great continuation. <laughs> let's, um, let's keep in touch. Uh, let's follow each other. Uh, let's. Um, if you have any question about this masterclass, this is my at. You can find me on Instagram, LinkedIn. Yeah, show some love in the chat. <laughs> One last spam. Yes, please spam me. <laughs> okay, thank you, everybody. Don't feel like this What did you